Yeah. No, it's gonna be the ring just in front of you. The <laughs> ring? I know, right? Without the makeup, you're like, who the hell is? So I still don't know where. I'm not trying to get that one. Yeah, yeah. Watch out! Can you keep your eyes on the road? Still don't know where we're going. There's some trees and greens. Where did he for? Yes, I'm we in Morgan, I think Morgan, Morgan Close. I don't think she does that well. Really nervous. Okay, so I should come back out and no, 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 no. Yeah. I don't know where she's taking me, guys. But it was on my left. You never heard from me again. You know where I was. You know the last place. Your son's not right. Here. So back on myself. And the houses here are beautiful. Let me show you guys. Let's show you the house. Some big houses. Um. Astra. House. Jesus name, in my, my name Jesus, this will be my house. Look at it, little front is it's gated. Hi guys. Go away. It's got gravity. No, it's gonna be the ring just in front of you. <laughs> I know, right? Without the makeup, you're like, who the hell is oh it? Oh my gosh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Hi, Richard. Oh, Kirsten. nice to meet you. How's it going? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's so, oh gosh, obviously. So sweet. That is so sweet. Well, listen, let's recoup on the time. So I want to make sure we get as much in as possible. Mm -hmm. You can at least face the mirror so you've got a familiar face at the very least. Mm -hmm. I'm a camera woman for the day. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to sing? So I'm going to ask you to sing along with this. In fact, let me take one of my phones off. We're going to sing it on the Bluetooth, so bear with me. Okay. Okay, put this back on. So all these are going to be just some really general vocal exercises. Really simple. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to sing them on a uh, gee. So just say gee for me. Gee. Yeah, it's like gee for geese. Like, it's really random, really random, but I want you to sing on that. Gee. Gee, 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 Have you sang in choirs in the past? Yeah. I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> tell you why. Your melody memory is so strong. Mm. What tends to happen is someone will come in and naturally it's a bit nerve wracking, mm. someone you've never met before saying, hi, nice to meet you, sing for me. And what I often find is when I ask them to sing something, mm. it takes them a while before they remember it. Remember it yeah. So the first thing was, do you do I probably went through it with you two or three times. Mm. Picked it up and you ran with it. <laughs> now I tell you what, this is quite rare. Many people will take 10 minutes just to do the first, just to understand the first one. Mm. We went through it three times, probably a maximum of 20 seconds. <laughs> and you got it, which is perfect. Great Thank melody you. memory. That will help you. And the reason why I said that, um, I can tell you part of choirs. But choirs, you learn songs. Yeah, you only do have songs. Yeah. Harmonies. Yeah. Okay, what was great, it, like your voice as well. It's quite a connected voice. I do feel there's some training to be done in getting it stronger, mm -hmm. but it's quite a connected voice. Let me tell you what I mean. Um, at no point when you were singing did I hear gee 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 gee. You know, it's kind of flips and cracks in the voice, mm -hmm. and it's really common for somebody who doesn't use their voice often. Mm -hmm. So they use it every now and again, but they don't really use it as much as maybe they should do mm -hmm. if they have a gift. Mm -hmm. With you, what's great is that, I don't know if you use it often, but your voice is still connected. Mm. It's not overly gravelly, gee, or <laughs> breaking. The reason why that's important is when no, a no, voice no. comes to me and it's like that, mm. there's a lot more therapy that needs to be done in the voice rather than it just being a case of you practicing. Mm. Your general posture is great. Oh. And let me tell you why this is super duper important. 
as I mentioned, many people will come and be nervous. It's the first, it's a new experience. Mm. And it's difficult to act comfortable when you're uncomfortable. Mm, so cool, yeah. But what's great about you is your posture didn't show me that you were uncomfortable. Mm. So what I often find is people come in and are kind of like, gee, 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 and their shoulders are slightly hunched or they're kind mm. of bending over. With you, you were completely upright mm -hmm. and um, you sang. Were you probably comfortable all the time? Nope. <laughs> but that's something I want you to take in everyday life as well. Why? There will be times you're confronted with something that makes you feel unconfident, makes you feel a little bit intimidated, a little bit intimidated. You're human, you're flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. Everybody feels those emotions. Mm -hmm. But how we tackle them is a true test of our character. Mm -hmm. And one thing I always say with people, if it's singing, just general life, your posture and what you give out to the, to the universe, what you give out, mm -hmm. will very much dictate how you perform. Mm -hmm. So the times I'm about to step on stage, and trust me, I'm not feeling it, I'm tired, <laughs> I'm, I'm nervous, <laughs> but then I have to somehow, as soon as I hear that first bass note, I'm ready, you've you got to get on with it. Yeah. But the first thing that will change will be my demeanour, my persona, then everything else follows. So what you just did there, really, really well done. And again, that's not something that's necessarily common, but the fact that you've got it, Let's not neglect that, let's focus on that. And again, keep building on it, because that was awesome. Thank you then. Nice. Breathe out. Breathe in. Excellent. Breathe out. This time as you're breathing in and out, I want you to be even more disciplined, so don't move the chest. If you feel any muscles in the chest starting to engage, relax it, push it back down. Again, from the dive, from the tummy, breathe in. Breathe out. That one. I bet she's about to die another way. For my camera? Mm. Sorry. There should be another battery in my I'll find it. Uh, as the dear Pentath was so nervous. I know, I know. <laughs> Pentath alone are my heart, desire and I long to worship you. Thank you so much. Take a seat, Titi. Well done. Well done. Yes. No. <laughs> yes, I said you should know. <laughs> okay, awesome. After you sang that, what did you want me to feel? What did you want people listening to you to feel when you sang that? Uh, I don't know. I just felt nervous. Mm. I think that's what you probably felt as well. Mm. That I was nervous. But um, yeah, that's. Whenever like, you sing, what do you want people to think? I want them to be connected with my song, with mm. the lyrics, with, with basically with what I can feel as well. Mm. So um, mm. when I'm happy, I want people to feel happy. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Awesome. I think that's a really nice, um, that's a really nice target when you're saying, <laughs> I want people to feel what I'm singing, singing my lyrics. Yeah. I love that. That's yeah. really sincere. I love that. Yeah. Okay. Technical stuff will come. I have no doubt about it. Why? Because your gifting is there. And there's some great things, as I mentioned, that you do at the moment. But I want you to get you to a place where you're so confident and connected with your gift that if someone says to you to sing, the first thing that comes to you is, okay, um, what song should I sing? Okay, I've got my song. What does the song even say? What's the song talking about? As the dear pants from my soul, longs after you, you and I'm not speaking about God, okay. Then you get yourself into that mm. atmosphere. You get yourself into that mindset. Then when you sing your song, you're not singing me a pretty song, but you're communicating to me what you're singing. Mm -hmm. And it's the difference between, as the deer panted for the water so my, and as the deer panted for <laughs> the... <laughs> Sorry, back to no. <laughs> But you can feel the difference. Yeah. And it's not like, and there's no ad -libs, there's no runs, there's no belting notes, it's not belting notes, excuse me. It's just an understanding. And my thing is, because you have the gifting, when that understanding comes to you, and it takes a little bit of confidence, a bit of con and a little bit of consistent practice, mm -hmm. but when that happens, you will literally feel the dots connect. The third thing I'd ask you to do is start to sing more. Just sing more. As in, I sing I, everywhere, I sing at work. Oh, wait, perfect. <laughs> when I say sing more though, I mean start to sing in a way where you're singing out. Because sometimes you can hum to yourself. Yeah. And, mm. But if you can, close the door and your room and sing out. <laughs> so I'll just, I just keep it recorded. Okay. Not As the deep and fall, the waters <laughs> on my soul longs after you. 
You alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship you. Mm, you alone are my strength, my shield to you. Lord, you're my heart, desire and I long to worship you. In spirit and in truth, Lord, I long to worship you. Amen. You're amazing! <laughs> Please don't be. No, you're welcome. You're welcome. But please listen. You're With your gift, keep singing. Keep singing. <laughs> and when you know what you're singing about, things change. So just Thank know you. about it, understand it, and just yes. do it, man. Because the gifting is there. It's you're absolutely there. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's true. And everyone knows. I will say. <laughs> I will say. Right, we need work, and I'll say no when there's something there. So please keep singing. Amazing. So no, you're welcome. Tell her to, to I love her. Oh, no, the thing is, I actually call her tonight. I'm actually calling her and say, listen, I had a plan. <laughs> and then we'll see if you can. Shout yeah. her out. But yeah, I will do. Titi. <laughs> what? Did I do something wrong? Titi, I'm talking to you. Don't walk away from me when I'm talking to you. Titi. Let me get the focus. I'm a camera woman today. I have no words for you. I have, I have, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> My insides are doing 1,000 <laughs> per hour, bro. Put some lights on. Those lights can't do anything. <laughs> well, it's working a little bit. Is it on? Oh, let's see. Okay, it's charging. <coughs> um, guys. I just met Rachel Kerr. <laughs> I just met Rachel Kerr and she sang as a day for me. <sighs> that singing was mad. No. Guys, I have an amazing best friend. Rachel Kerr said only true friends will, you know, not only say, oh, go, go on and do it and um, yay, I'll be your cheerleader, but they will actually make whatever you want to happen, happen. And I've been banging on about singing lessons. <laughs> if you know me, you know. At first I was thinking, okay, she's taking me on holiday, but we don't have a suitcase. I don't have anything. So um, we're going, 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 going. I asked her, are we there yet? But how many times? <laughs> like 50 million times, and she was on driving. And then when we got closer, she started to bite her nails, so she started to get nervous. So I was thinking, wait, how deep is where she's <laughs> taking me, please? And then we got lost for like 10 minutes because we couldn't find where the house was. Went upstairs. The house is really nice. And then Rachel Kerr opened the door. You didn't even know it was her. I didn't know it was her. I just shook her hand. I was thinking, wait, and when's she going to come? She was like, okay, yeah. She just played it cool. It was okay, just, just come in. And then, okay, I went in and then I sat down. No, no, I didn't sit down, no. I went in. And I started creeping and I saw the pictures. Eh? And I saw the mobo. I said, what? And then I saw I saw all her awards and I was thinking, you're Rachel Kerr! And I said to her, I said, you're Rachel Kerr! And I was just, I just had to give her a hug like 50 times. <laughs> I hope my makeup didn't, she was wearing no makeup. So she didn't want to, I was taking a picture of her to be honest. But um, I hugged her like 50 million times, guys. And... It's just been a great experience. She is so humble. She she's so amazing, and her advice is just it's just fantastic. And I'm definitely coming back to sing a size to sing with her. And she's gonna speak to Tua for me as well Tonight. to tell Tua to shout me out if Tua ever does. But um, yeah, Tua, I love you lots. Love you, Rachel. I've had a fantastic 20 seconds. Yesterday, we spent it with my family, my friends, my work friends, and it was an amazing night. It was an amazing night. And then today, I met Rachel Kerr. He's my best friend. I hope you've enjoyed watching. 
Go get a best friend like mine. I'm joking. You never find her. You know, I'm out of the world. Where am I from? Where am I from? Uh, I hope you had an amazing weekend because I have, clearly. <laughs> um, yeah, and please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Spread the word about tea time, like I always say, and um, I will see you in my next video. Bye. Don't know. Bye, guys. Say bye. To Lucy. bye. <laughs> see you later. Just go away. <laughs>